Hi, I'm Madison Von Tempo, and I'm with Clear Talent Group. I was wondering where Madison had disappeared to. I honestly don't know where she's gone. Perhaps she went to sit with her friends. I need to get some friends of my own, or I will never keep my creed to stay Miss Popular. All in due time. Become a cheerleader, and then you can think about how to boost your popularity. Well, some people will have had a long time to plan these things. I haven't planned on the precise moment in which everyone will like me. We don't leave our life to chance, is what it says in the Bible. You're a very hyper girl, so don't waste another minute. I'm eating my lunch before I even plan on finding our senior representative and making myself heard. Can you really see me taking athletics? Of course I do. You're a real fast runner, as I recall. Yes, but that was many years ago. I doubt I still have the ability and energy to do it again. I could talk you into it. Because you know I can be quite persuasive. Maybe to some, but I say no. I know nothing about Christians, but you have a God as well. I think it's the same one, but you have the nerve to think the Big Bang Theory is out of the universe. As a girl who's good at science, I do disagree with certain aspects and do believe their view on how the Earth is created is wrong. You have no idea you've become weaker at track unless you have another attempt at it. There is no better time than at the tender age of 18. You're right, and I was foolish to hold myself back when it was something I enjoyed. No, I don't mind deserve to go warm, so I am eating it, and then I will find Madison and I will start my journey of contentment. Do you think your photographic memory can memorize this layout? Maybe. But this is quite a complicated map, so I need to study it for a few hours before it becomes a permanent fixture in the list of information I store in my brain. I am surprised we can do this search without one of the older students watching our back. They're probably getting involved in a lunchtime club, so there may not be as many people around until the bell rings. We were probably expected to stay in the dining room for the whole lot of time, as we aren't in there making friends while searching for Madison. We would have left unless it was important. I have to make my presence here, so it'd be best if we go to the support department as a first port of call. I suppose it'd be a crime to disturb her when she may have a lot to do to restart this year as fast as possible. Of course she will, because a girl like that will have been missed, and she'll quickly... want to start this season. That's the reason for not wandering off. I say we don't go too far because when she does return, I want to be the first one to talk to her as she probably has a long list of waiting students who need her help. And so I want to be the first one to see her when the bell rings. I always said you sounded eager and I was right. A missed opportunity will probably leave you with regret and you have enough to think about already, especially with that recurring dream. I'm not thinking about the dream because it's not my destiny to avoid these things coming true. I feel it was my imagination the whole time playing tricks on me, so I'm not worrying about it any longer. Then you won't want to put this dream to Nigel? I don't think a psychologist can make sense of this nonsensical stuff that I dream. This is not like you to doubt anything. You usually believe in everything can happen as long as Jesus can be capable of performing such a miracle. It isn't that I doubt, it's just I'm thinking more about cheer trials than my dream. You're letting this dream fight against your push for popularity, so you really don't know what you should sort out first. I think I know what I want. And you may call me crazy, but I can't stop myself wasting away such talent as I have. I'm disappointed that you didn't want to seek Nigel's help and learn what your dream means. If your mind is made up, then let us go back inside into the dining room and wait for Madison to return. Just you watch, Nigel. He may be out there to tear up our friendship and make a move on you. That's what I like about you. You always take care of my best interests. I don't mind multitasking because your mom wants me to keep an eye on you, especially since you could fill your exams before you take them. If I take athletics, I won't have time to study. Anyway, you didn't always revise and it did you no harm. I have a photographic memory, which I need when I have a list parties to attend. And my 18th beat all the fellow students that it silenced them for weeks. Especially since no one could have guessed you'd have a Miranda Cosgrove impersonator and bouncers on the door. There were people so low-key at high school that they weren't even on the list. Hence, you didn't let them in. I don't want to turn to a hate figure, but a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Besides, they got over it and I did buy those left out gifts, so they didn't feel hard done by. You've always been sweet, even when you had to let people down. So Madison won't find anyone more committed than you for the squad. I always aim to try my best, and I will especially work my hardest for the other girls and boys, and I will be the best team player and super geek this university has ever seen. 
In return, I'll be the fastest and most fit athlete there is and provide my family with medals and trophies that will make up for the fact that none of them made it here. Oh, it's almost bell time. Off to the dining room we go. I'm right behind you. I told you we hadn't missed anything. We'll probably head back to our room before we restart the tour. After all, we wouldn't want Nigel to miss out. I knew you liked him and want him not to miss out. But I haven't decided whether I'd be friends with him. You're always so judgmental. What is stopping you making a decision? He doesn't seem academic enough for me. No, he isn't, and you drive a hard bargain. But he'll prove himself, and then you'll be eager to have him on board. That's the way things usually turn out. The girl the head teacher was talking to is here. I only recovered his line of thought. He can't owe me much in return. Maybe a free ride in the North Alabama Lions without the strain of your tryouts. How did you know I was interested? I heard you and your friend Daisy discussing it. Well, it's me and my student group were passing your group. Well, I won't ask her favors. That could discourage the pride I made in life. Well, you couldn't have a better senior representative when you're so pretty. No boy has ever called me that before. But at least I don't think they have. If they commented on me like that, I would ignore them as it may distract me from my education. Quite the innocent, aren't we? She probably has a reason. It is because of my Catholic morals that I am able to sit down and work hard and not get easily distracted. It's good to obey your religion your parents brought you up on. I'm a Christian like many, but even as a Catholic, a minor crush isn't harmless if you can avoid it affecting your work. Not sure. Sounds like the sort of thing that would give me a guilty conscience and committing a sin is wrong. It's not like that. I had a couple of girlfriends, as has my best friend here. It is very hard to make that right idea the first time so you don't have to fail at something so you can learn what went wrong and that gives you a real sentimental feeling inside. My heart generally leads me to success and determines a bright future. Although my best friend Daisy is destined to fail because she is easily distracted. Work is a very hard thing, especially at VTech at degree level. If you really become so boring that work is all you're here for, then it'll become very hard to make friends. I will start high and make friends with Madison before attempting anyone near my own age, because she can send me very far and give me a life more unpredictable than I can imagine. It sounds like a good place to start, but if you don't take a free pass through your tryouts, it will be tough and rather sought after to make the squad. You told me to follow my heart, and my heart is telling me to try out for cheer without cheating. And when it comes to dreams that so-called fact of science said about the Big Bang Theory starting off the world, when we all know it was God, I have a Bible to prove them wrong, and I also want to prove a documentary that I saw wrong. So you won't go after the TV channel? Yes, and possibly Stephen Hawking. It's a pretty big thing for one small girl to do by herself. I did send in my A homework from high school on why religion started the world, and he was so shocked at the fact that I was right and the fact that I was so clever that he sent me back a blank email with no writing and a signed picture as an attachment. That's really nice of him to take the time to reply like that. We have to take our groups on a guided tour now, but we'll see you around, perhaps on the basketball court. I would like that, and I will be there edging you to victory. Goodbye, Allegra, and good luck.